Have you ever thought about the kind of life that you have or that you want to have? We're generally so focused on the immediate tasks at hand and the projects that are right in front of us that it can be really tough to like zoom out and look at the bigger picture. So I want to ask you if you have ever asked yourself, are the actions I'm taking now creating the life I want to be living? It's an interesting question, right? And so in today's episode, I want to share three simple questions that you could ask yourself to help you figure this out. And you can do this in your head, but I would highly recommend that you grab a notebook or a journal and maybe your favorite beverage, and then we can get into it. Are you ready to stop the chaos, the stress, the overwhelm that's filling your life? I'm Renee Matt, and together you and I are going to build simple routines that are going to change your life. When you put these habits into practice, you're going to be able to organize your life in a way where you can be there for your family, pay off your debt, save money, your house can stay organized, you don't have to stress about what's for dinner, and you still get time for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the Routine Advantage Podcast. So at the time of this recording, we're actually getting ready for a family camp out. And every year we have been doing this that will usually go to my grandparents and the whole side of my mom's family. We get together and basically camp out in their backyard and there's a ton of space back there. And for the whole weekend, we just hang out with family and we have a really good time. And we're getting ready to do that again um, this upcoming weekend at the time of this recording. And what I was kind of thinking about was last year I was having a conversation with my cousin and it, it it impacted me so much and she probably has no idea. She probably doesn't even remember this conversation. It would be interesting to know if she did. But we were in, kind of in a group and we were talking about um, just life and how everybody's busy because, you know, like that's typically what you hear. You ask somebody how they're doing and the response is always just like, oh good, just really busy. And that's that's always very common. And so I was sitting next to her and I, I haven't seen her at that time. I mean, I don't see her very often. So it had been a really long time since I had seen her. And so I was asking her how she was and just instinct. I was thinking that she was going to tell me, good, just really busy <laughs> because that's what everybody says. And she kind of looked at me and she was like, oh, we're really good. And she's like, yeah, just it's been really quiet. And I was like, it kind of caught me off guard. And I was like, really? And she has, you know, I think five little kids and um, and her husband has a job where he travels quite a bit. So he is um, gone for long hours. And she, that was her response was just really quiet. And it was really funny because her response surprised me so much that I even told her that I was really expecting her to just tell me that she was really busy and that life was busy and all this stuff. And she said, oh, no, she said, I like a quiet life and it's very intentional. And it was really refreshing to hear her say that. And it made me start thinking about being really intentional with your time and choosing the type of life that you want to have. It seems like it's this badge of honor that everybody says they're busy. And sometimes it almost even feels like it's this competition on who can be busier and having the busyness make you feel like you're doing well. And when I heard her say that, I was so in awe that I was like, I don't need to be busy to have the life that I want. And at that time, I was also very busy. And I had already heard um, probably for the like the last two years prior to that, uh, how people would always say that they were busy and that was just the common response. So I would try not to say that I was busy unless I was truly busy, but not in a way of it being this, you know, positive thing, I guess. <laughs> Just like it's a really full life. And if you're doing really good things and you're busy with good things, that's great. But a lot of times like you have to ask yourself why you're busy and if it's intentional. And if you don't want a busy life, you have to make some changes to make it intentional. So when I was hearing from her how she was having this very quiet 
intentional life and wanting a really quiet life that it was almost like that permission to be like, that is okay. Like you can choose a calm and quiet life. You can have open space in your day and it's not a bad thing. And so I wanted to ask you that and bring this episode to you because I've been wanting to do this on an episode and I figured it was good timing because it aligns with us going back to the camping weekend and that this is going to be coming up. I'll probably see her again. And I just wanted to um, to bring this episode because it if you have been feeling like you're so busy and if you feel like you're looking at your calendar, your schedule, and every little block of time needs to be filled with something, this is your permission to say, it's okay to leave things blank. And it's okay to say no to things. And it's okay to choose the type of life you want, even if it isn't the same as somebody else's or if somebody else expects you to live it differently. So it doesn't matter what people around you are doing. What do you want? So I came up with three super simple questions that you can ask yourself about the kind of life you want to create. So number one, what moments do you find that you treasure most? Now, this can be activities. It can be quiet moments. It can be times where you feel really proud or where you feel accomplished or you feel relaxed. What moments... When you think back, what moments do you find that you treasure most? And just write them down. And you can pause this episode if you need to and just start writing them out. But you're just getting a like brain dumped list of all of these moments that you really treasure. Question number two. When you envision your quote unquote perfect life, what are you doing? Now, this one, some ideas is like, it can be a very broad (laughs) picture of what you're doing, but to kind of give you a little more detail, what are you doing each day? How are you waking up in the morning? What are, what tasks are you getting done each day? What kind of routines do you have in place? What is happening around you? What does your family life look like? How are you spending your time? What kind of activities or hobbies do you have? So when you're envisioning this perfect life, What are you doing? And write all that down. And then question number three is if you could describe the kind of life you want in one word, what would the word be? And I started to think of some just to get your juices flowing. And a few words that I thought of were calm, healthy, playful. Adventurous, intentional, serving, or focused. So those are just some ideas to get your your juices flowing. Um, But those, I hope, will help you to really just take a step back and picture the life that you want. And then go back to what I had said in the intro of when you're looking at all these different things of the moments that you really treasure how you're spending your time, what you are envisioning as what type of life you would like to have and how you would describe your life, then ask yourself, are the actions I'm taking now creating the life that I want to be living? And that will help you to start being more intentional about where you are spending your time. And hopefully the word that you came up with in number three, in that question number three, can help you to kind of guide the decisions that you're making from here on out. So if your word was intentional, then as you are filling your schedule, you can ask yourself, am I being intentional with the time that I'm spending? Are you focusing, like when you are spending time with your kids, Are you having intentional time with your kids? Are you being distracted by other things? Maybe put the other things away, put your phone away, turn the TV off, whatever you need to do to have very intentional time with your kids. When it's time to be cooking dinner, then set all the other distractions aside and really focus on cooking that meal for your family. But maybe your word is 
adventurous, then you probably want to be blocking off time to make sure that you're going out and you're doing things that add adventure to your life. Maybe it's bringing the kids on multiple field trips or um, doing something with your spouse or just doing something on your own. Maybe it's going on a new bike trail every weekend where you are having some more adventure in your life. Maybe it's going skydiving, (laughs) whatever it is. These This word will help guide the decisions that you want. So if you want a very calm life, ask yourself, when people are asking you to do things, is that helping you live the calm life that you want? So hopefully this will be helpful to you. But I think when you are going back to the moments that you treasure most, a few ideas I wanted to share that might be the case if you're feeling like you're getting stuck is maybe you really treasure your morning routine. Maybe it is going for a walk without any earbuds so you can listen to everything around you. Maybe it's sitting on your porch at night with a cup of tea and listening to the wind. Or a hot cup of coffee on your porch in the early, early morning when it's still cool and watching the birds on your bird feeder. It could be reading in your coziest chair with a really comfy blanket. Maybe it's Uh, family game nights or memories of making homemade pizza with your family every week. Maybe it's doing a Bible devotion or spending time having a girls night and drinking wine and having a book club. Like all these different things that you could do, which ones are the moments that you're treasuring most? Maybe it's the quiet moments where you're just sitting there with your loved ones. So you really want to ask yourself those questions, and hopefully by the time you get done, you'll have some pages in your journal that you can kind of reflect on and really ask yourself if you are taking the actions now that are creating the life that you want to be living, and just make small steps to make that transition so that eventually over time, you will be designing the life that you want. So really quick recap for those three quick, simple questions that you can ask yourself. Maybe not quick, but they're simple. But you can ask yourself about the kind of life you're wanting to create. Number one, what moments do I find that I treasure most? Number two, when I envision my quote unquote perfect life, what am I doing? And number three, if I could describe the kind of life that I want in one word, what would it be? Did you love that episode or learn something useful? If so, would you do me a huge favor? My goal is to grow this podcast and help as many women as I can break free from the overwhelm so they can truly enjoy their life. The best way for me to do this is for you to leave a five-star written review on your podcast app and to share this episode with a friend or in your Instagram stories. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next episode. Take care.